Hey guys, today we are going to uh, look at how to install a plugin and use it in Reaper, which can be a bit confusing the first time you do it because plugins get saved in a certain location and if Reaper doesn't know where to look, it won't find them. So let's just download the Windows installer from the Tower Noise Maker. It's a zip file, which I've actually already downloaded. If you have like WinZip or 7-Zip or another um, zip file tool installed, you might get this sort of appearance when you double click or you might get, if I open with Windows Explorer you might just look like this. Um, we're going to install the 64-bit VST version so I'm going to double click on this particular install file and click next, accept all the terms now see this folder, it's going to install it I'm actually going to highlight that and hit Control C because I'm going to want to tell Reaper that particular folder a bit later. So hit install, say yes, finish, bam, it's done. Now let up Reaper. So basically I'm going to go to the preferences, options, preferences, or use the shortcut control P. Now I need to go down to the plugins section, VST plugins. And at the end of this particular, um, these different paths, this is the, the areas that Reaper will search for plugins. You'll notice actually this particular one here that I've got on the end of mine is exactly what we just copied to the clipboard. But for you, it would finish somewhere else. You would put in a colon, um, sorry, a semicolon actually, which so you don't hold shift, you just hit the semicolon key and control V and hit apply. Then that has changed the path. You can either restart Reaper or just hit rescan and Reaper very quickly just found that plugin hit OK so now that when I uh, right click insert a virtual instrument the TAL noisemaker is actually now available if I double click that it opens up the synth which has various presets um, if you've got a MIDI keyboard plugged in that's great you can use that or if you want to do view and choose the virtual MIDI keyboard or use the shortcut Alt B that will open. Now that's quite a harsh sounding Juno synth. You could choose something uh, a bit more like a pad. That's a bass kind of one. Sort of 80 sound. Cool. So, and once you've clicked on the keyboard you can use your keyboard to um, to do those notes. So there's various types of um, presets. The BS one there is the bass presets. CH, that's different kinds of chords. Let's go for these keyboard ones. Glass Star. It's got some cool reverb. It's still ringing. Pretty cool. So fiddle around with that and, you know, let your creativity go to town. If you have any questions about how to do that, just uh, shoot me a, a comment in the YouTube video or if you're at my school, just email me and I will help you. Good luck.